Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I get so many questions on how I dye my hair, so here is how I do it. First of all, I just set out everything that I may need ahead of time. The color that I use is by Ion. It's their Color Brilliance Intensive Shine Demi Permanent Hair Color in 3N. It's super cheap, you can get this at Sally's, and if you have a Sally's card, you can get it even cheaper. And the developer that I use is by Ion as well. It's for sensitive scalp, it's a volume of 10. Super cheap, I get it in the 32 ounce, so it saves me a little bit more money. This next step is completely optional, but if you're a little bit messy or a beginner, I would definitely recommend putting some Vaseline around your hairline, just in case you get any dye on your skin. This is going to act as a barrier. For my roots, I love to use this bottle by Ion. It's calibrated so you can measure out your dye and your developer, and the tip makes it easy to separate your hair, so I think this is perfect if you're doing your roots. If you're doing your whole head of hair, I would definitely recommend a mixing bowl, some clips to section off your hair, and also a tint brush to use to mix in the bowl and to apply it to your whole head of hair. I also have a brush and a comb, and I also set out a few old towels. Now that you have everything you need, you're going to want to mix your color. If this is your first time, I would definitely recommend reading these instructions first, but since I've done this countless times, I'm just going to set that aside. I'm not lifting my hair, so I'm using the lowest volume of developer, giving that a shake and then pouring in 2 ounces of developer. I'm using a 1 to 1 ratio. You can also do a 2 to 1 ratio with this color. Definitely read the instructions if that's for you, but I do a 1 to 1. So now I put 2 ounces of developer into my calibrated bottle, and then I'm using the cap to poke open my color, and then squeezing the full tube into my bottle. And that will be 2 ounces of color as well, so that is our 1 to 1 ratio. Next, you're definitely going to want to protect your hands, so get some latex gloves. I picked up these from the dollar store, so they're super inexpensive. Make sure your cap is screwed on tightly, then put your finger over the hole and give it a good shake. You're going to want to make sure that developer and the color is nicely mixed together. To prepare my hair, I like to give it a good brush through, and I also like to use three to four day old hair. So this isn't freshly washed hair, you can definitely tell that I need to give it a good wash, but I like my natural oils to be coating my roots before I dye my hair. It's just an added little protection and something my colorist has always told me to do before I started dyeing my hair myself. So now I'm just sectioning off my hair into two parts, just clipping my first section out of the way. I'm going to wrap a old towel around myself just to cover my skin. I'm also using loose fitted clothing so that when I do wash my hair out, I can just slip out of my tank top easily. To secure my towel, I'm just using my hair tie, which was holding my hair earlier. Now I'm going to take some petroleum jelly and just put that around my hairline. I'm also going to put it on my ears, and this is going to act as a barrier between the dye and my skin. So if you don't do this step, it's okay, but if you're a little bit messy or a beginner like me, you might want to do this just because it's an added little protection. Your skin will wash free of the dye, but if you have some place to be, this is the perfect step to do. First step, I'm going to apply some product directly down the center of my head since I parted it down the middle. And then I'm just going to spread it back and forth between the two sides. And I just gently pat, I don't rub. If you rub it into your scalp, you could get irritated. Taking that applicator, I'm going to use it to separate sections of my hair. So I'm just going to flip that section over and then I'm going to apply the product like I have been doing, just down that line and then I'm going to spread it out with my fingers just going back and forth over the two sections. So I'm overlapping that other section that I did prior and then putting some new product on the section that I didn't do before. And then I'm just going to keep doing that. Then I like to go around my hairline at the end and just make sure I really get that area good because that's what's going to be seen mostly, especially if you have your hair back. So I just like to make sure that that part is good encoded. I was struggling to film this video if you can tell. It was really hard to dye your hair yourself but to dye your hair and film it is like even more of a struggle. 
So now I'm just flipping to this kind of angle since you saw up close and I'm going to speed it up. I basically just do the same thing. I just separate it with the nozzle of the applicator flip up sections and just pour the product on my roots. So I'm just making sure I get my roots at this time. I'm not focusing on the length of my hair. Now that I finished my top roots, I'm just going to clip that section back and I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So I'm just going to lift sections, put the product, spread the product with my fingers. You know the drill by now, it's super easy. So I got some product on my skin, my arm to be specific. So this is where one of my washcloths come in. I just like to get that product right away. And I also got some on my forehead. If you saw right in the beginning of this video, I got some on my forehead right away. <laughs> so I'm just cleaning that up right now. The Vaseline does protect the skin, so I didn't get any dye marks, but I just like to clean it up if I do see it. So now I'm sectioning the back of my head into two sections and then I'm doing the exact same thing. So I'm just flipping up sections. I'm doing this blind. I don't need to see my hair. If you're really worried about it, you can definitely get someone to help you with this part, but honestly, you can do this yourself. It's easy enough. Another tip I have is to have an extra box of dye. You can always return it if you don't use it, but if you're scared you're going to not have enough dye to cover every little bit of hair, then definitely pick up that second box so that you're covered. I used to need to use two for my whole head of hair, since I just do my roots, I only use one box and you'll see what I do for the length of my hair when I just want to freshen it up. So I'm applying quite a bit of product to my roots to make sure they're covered. And then I go back, add some more product into my hand and kind of work it with my fingers into my roots. So I'm making sure that I get the back of my hair in those roots and this seems to work really well for me. Now I'm going to set my timer for about 20 minutes and during this time I just like to clean up any mess that I made. So that's where my second washcloth comes in and I just clean up my sink. And now this is what I do to freshen up the length of my hair. I add some deep conditioner into the remaining dye and developer that I have left in the bottle. So I don't actually have a formula for this. I just dump like a handful of conditioner in there, just enough to cover the rest of my hair. And this is really, really easy to do. You just basically pour it on sections and work it through. The roots are the hardest part. The length is really not an issue. Now that I've done that side, I'm just going to twist this whole section of hair and clip it up with one of my color clips. And then I'm going to go on to the next section of my hair and do the exact same thing. Now I have my Miley Cyrus like hairstyle going on and I'm just showing you what it looks like. So I'm letting that all set and I'm coming back in. I don't know what I was doing actually. And this is kind of my clip that shows you to set your timer, but I showed you Instagram. So now take your face cloth and just clean up any of those dye marks. Try not to rub the actual bits of hair along your hairline and just clean up any markings that you see. And now I just wanted to show you during that 10 minutes what I typically do. I use a face mask and I wanted to show you one of my favorites which is by Glam Glow. And I just love this mask. This isn't sponsored or anything. I just kind of wanted to show you a lapse time or time lapse <laughs> version of what this mask does just because it's super expensive and I don't think I've ever seen anyone show it in action. So this is it drying on my skin and it's basically sucking all the impurities out of my skin and I'm going to show you a nice close-up of what it does to my nose and chin which are my problem areas which is really really disgusting so I hope you're prepared for this just just wait oh there we go and yeah it's pretty gross just look at those pores and what it does that's like 
the most disgusting thing ever. But anyways, we're going into the shower to finally rinse off our mask and our hair dye. First, like to rinse out the bulk of the dye from my hair just with water, and then I go in with my regular shampoo, and then I go in with a deep conditioner, that same conditioner that I showed you earlier by Macadamia. You can also use any kind of like hair mask or color sealer for this process. I used one by Ion before, but my Macadamia mask works just as well. So this is what my hair looks like after I step out of the shower. So freshly dyed and slightly damp. And now I have blow dried my hair. So the power of editing. This is what the color looks like. Roots are freshly done. It virtually looks black, but you can definitely tell it has that warmth, that brown to it. So this is the color of my hair freshly dyed. And if you go to the beginning of this video, you will see how the color looks when it fades a little bit. I absolutely love both colors. I love this deep, rich, dark brown shade, and I love how it lightens up as well. So you know you have a good dye when it looks just as good when you haven't actually dyed it. So it, this is my favorite color. I absolutely love it. I always get so many questions on it and it just leaves your hair so shiny and healthy looking and this is just seriously the best color and that's why I think I've been using it for like 10 years. <laughs> it's crazy how long I've been using it for but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you did and I will see you guys in my next video.